What's up? How you feeling, YouTube? So yeah, man, going pretty strong. Three days strong, four days strong. Can't even tell right now. You know, when you get into motion, you don't even want to try to keep the numbers of it. You want to try to stay as motivated and as inspirational as you can. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. And uh, today's Thanksgiving, but um, besides coming to my house to take care of the dogs, because we still haven't moved into our house yet, we're almost done with the rebottle, almost done, we're not done yet, but I still got to come take care of the dogs, and I was like, man, hold up, let me get on YouTube, connect with my YouTubers real quick, because we got this relationship, and the, I've been posting the old videos from De La Paz Focus onto the YouTube, it's working, I'm seeing some views. Some videos got 1,500 and another one 500. There's some motion in there. So the game plan of posting old footage just to get the algorithm going is working. And also, you know, I'm gonna keep y'all, I told you I was, what I'm going through, what I'm learning, I'm gonna keep y'all in the loop. Snapchat, Snapchat is paying $1,000 a month to creators that average anywhere from 10,000 views to a million views. Just paying them $1,000. I don't agree with it. It is what it is, but they paying $1,000. So if you are a creator and you're like, man, F a nine to five, I'd rather get this money on the web because I know where this stuff is going in the future. And I'd rather work on myself right now instead of just go put in some time somewhere where, hey, sometimes you got to do it. I get it. You got to pay the bills. But don't fall short on your dreams. You feel me? Always stay close to your dreams. Hug them tight. Dream about them and understand that you could get them. You can make them. If, if God put that thought in your head, it was. It's, he's he's waiting for you to, to. He's waiting to see what you're gonna do with it. So, the minute you even get the idea, you should get the chills because it's like, wow, God, you you blessed me with this. You want me to do this? Let's get it. It's it's like wow. It's like it's like it's like a no-brainer. If that's the way I feel, if I get a good idea, it's like whoa, I've been chosen and execute this idea. That's why. I just get things done quick because I know the payout and not just like the physical payout on earth, but I know the payout in life. I know how life works. You feel me? So you got to focus on those little things to get far. And it's crazy because if you handle all the little things, the far things handle themselves. They book themselves. But um, yeah, always make time for your dreams. But I get it. Sometimes you got to get that money on the side. But Snapchat, $1,000 a month they're paying. If you have the footage or if you just want to get on Snapchat the same way you be messing around on TikTok, stay consistent for at least a month. And then they're just going to start sending you diamonds or, or gems. Once you start getting those gems, just know you get enough of those. You can cash that out for real money. And Snapchat, when all these other platforms started creating like shorts, reels, Snapchat was like, well, we going to do this spotlight. And whatever creatives want to get this money on Snapchat with us, come get it. Because we, we offering it. And it's happening. So that's how that's working. So right now, um, I'm in my... This where, like, it's funny. Today's Thanksgiving. At Grandma's, we're going to uh, celebrate Thanksgiving. Make sure to follow Della Paz family, that other YouTube. And uh, stay tuned with all the family stuff that I do. We're celebrating... Thanksgiving at grandma. She's cooking up some salmon right now. Oh my God. Yo, quick question. Throw it in the comments. Is it salmon or salmon? Salmon. 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 What is it? Because I know. How, what is it? So I know we're having that over there at grandma's today. And some wine. I love drinking a little wine with grandma man, and just learning from her youth and everything she knows because Take advantage of the people around you in your life that can give you the knowledge. Because life, the older I get, I realize if you don't have the information, ah, oh, let's see. Oh, you feel me? So, yeah, right now, we're in my new house, though. And this is where we're going to be having kind of our Thanksgiving dinners. So, tables are going to be big right here. I know my wife is going to decorate it amazing because she's just amazing and brilliant. She has that eye. And it's going to feel elegant. And it's going to be my job to make it feel like a home. Cause it's definitely the house. It's our house. We sold our townhouse that we had and used that money and got this beautiful house. But this house was a little old, so we're getting to the remodeling part of it. 
quick before we bring our daughters in here because you know the dust with the remodels we don't you know you know how people are with their kids and we're super protective so we don't even want dust we don't want our daughters to deal with dust those are our princesses and they don't got to deal with dust so we had to get to remodel them before we even moved in because it was the most convenient and thank god we got grandmas we've been staying at grandmas and anybody that's ever done remodeling in a home you know the deadlines the days they tell you is never that so I'm not here to point fingers. We are where we're at, but we're gonna get shit done and we're getting things done and things is looking amazing. Like even these pillars right here were dark brown and they just sanded them down to like natural wood. And the cool thing about this house is so old. It has these old structures from like the 60s, 50s that just give the house a touch. So it's modern, but it has history. And we have these big oak trees in the back that are just huge that we can't cut them down because the city doesn't let you cut it down. Once you buy a house and stuff, you learn these different rules, which is so cool. But just know it's a process. And I'm so grateful and thankful I'm even dealing with these issues right now because, man, anybody that really knows me from the start, like out of high school, dislocated my knee, went to film school because I lost my scholarship and I was like, I'm gonna go to film school now. Hold on, let me give y'all the real story. Dislocated my knee, then I went to the police academy. I tried to become a police academy because I'm a cop because I was like, fuck it. I can't be a football player, I'm gonna get this money as a cop because I, I know I'm fast, I'm smart, you know? I, I, and I, I'm a good dude, I like to do the good things. God was like, uh-uh, we're not gonna let that happen. We got you, and then some situation happened. <laughs> If you want to know about the situation, ask me, but if I'm going to talk about it, I ain't going to only talk about it. And then I got kicked out of the police academy. So then I went to film school, editing school. And then I was in editing school for three years in Burbank. After that, after being certified in Avid Final Cut Premiere, uh, went to directing school, Hollywood Film School, got an AA, associate's degree and a master's degree there. And while being there, just started networking, working with different people, getting my hands in the game. But Something that anybody that has ever met me has always told me, hey, you should be an actor. And I'm always like, yeah, I know. I love acting so much. I went to film school, editing school to try to figure out the craft because when you're trying to learn this game, nobody wants to give it to you. So I was like, okay, I'm going to learn what everybody else does until I figure out what the actor does. So then um, that's how I got into this because I was like, if I'm a now go to school for football, I'm going uh, to for sure go do something I love. And videos and, and storytelling is something I've always loved. So that's how that happened. But before that, bro, I used to remember just praying for everything I have now. And honestly, it's vision board. Make a vision board. Put everything you want on that vision board. Execute it. You're going to get it. But just stay focused because I know times get hard. So I wanted to make today's video about just being super thankful and just staying updated with you guys and keeping you guys in the loop with what's going on with my life and what's going on on a daily basis. Um, shout out to Swaggy Peace Podcast. Shout out to Bevel. We figured out how we go figure out that situation. You feel me? And shout out to just real relationships because I know with this era of social media, a lot of people don't really get to connect the way kids used to connect back in the day. And I'm so grateful for the friends I have because... We're just some kids from back in the day and we still live by those rules. And, you know, it's not all the time you go agree with other people, but the way you handle that situation says a lot about you and the people you're with. Because life is no life and you need some solid people around you to handle that. You feel me? And I'm excited. I'm excited for all the stuff we got coming, um, all the different things that's happening. And I just really wanted to remind Whoever's out there right now that might not have it, keep going, man. The future version of yourself is, is dependent on you. Stay focused. Even when there ain't money coming in, go hit the gym, stay productive, and you could really make it happen. But happy Thanksgiving. I just wanted to get on here, touch bases with y'all. I love y'all. And um, comment below any questions you have, any activities you're curious about. Any restaurants out here in LA you want me to go try? Like, yeah, we're gonna go crazy with this content. Also, I'm gonna go golfing soon and um, we'll just bring the camera, mic myself up and somebody else. 
matter of fact, comment below who you want me to go golfing with and we'll mic that person up and then we'll just golf and talk throughout the whole um, golf experience and see what we make out of that episode. But just know we're going to keep dropping every day. Got to stay consistent with it. I already know when it comes to consistency, it's just about reps. And I do this video stuff, so turn the camera on, edit it up, throw it online. Consistency is easy for me. But um, I'm still going to make it fun because it's not just about how fast you can film it and get it out. It's about the product and the message we're putting in each one of these videos because I know somebody out there is watching and I just want to let you know that you can do it and I believe in you. Peace.